class do not look somber as hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. During the liturgical year, Lent is a commemoration of Jesus Christ, who spent 40 days and nights in the Judean desert. As a moral in life that shows the way that mankind needs to follow. Jesus not only tells us that we need to fast from all kinds of distractions for 40 days only, but throughout our life. Lent is about focusing on values that Jesus preached during his lifetime. The Bible states in John chapter 6 verse 1 to 40, the people who were amazed by Jesus started following him. Once Jesus had come to a halt, the disciples were worried that how would they get food to feed the 5,000 people and barely five barley loaves and two fishes. With that, there was enough food to feed the entire 5,000 people and enough to have 12 full baskets filled with fragments by those who had eaten. With this miracle that Jesus had performed, this shows us that we need to be kept thankful to each and every step that God has done for us. Lent is a season where we take time to understand the mysteries that Jesus has done. Lent is a period of grief that necessarily ends with a great celebration of Easter. Thus, it is known as the season of bright sadness. Lent is a time to reflect repent and prepare our hearts for the celebration of Easter. It is the season to remove distraction to make room for God. Lent starts on Ash Wednesday and ends in the evening of Monday Thursday with the Mass of the Lord's Supper. The origins of the ceremony known as the Eucharist in which bread and wine are taken in the memory of Jesus' body and blood. The Last Supper takes place during the Jewish festival of Passover. Jesus announced that he would keep the Passover with his 12 disciples. Lent is a 40-day season of prayer, fasting, penance. It's a period of preparation to celebrate the Lord's resurrection at Easter. Easter is a cultural holiday commemorating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead described in the New Testament as having occurred on the third day of his burial following his crucifixion by the Romans at Calvary. During Lent, I have been reading Psalm 121 every morning after waking up and every night before sleeping. I have been reading a chapter from the Bible after prayer. The Psalm that I have been reading I lifted my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121 has helped me understand what God can do for us and be with us in every situation and dangers in life. The Psalm has helped me in every aspect of my life. Wherever I feel I have done something wrong and guilty, Psalm 121 helps me feel free from the guilt. When I am in need, I take help from my Lord, who I can always turn to even in my darkest times. In the brightest days, He always is there for me and ready with a solution to any of my problems. The difference we make in our time of Lent are, we should always try to do good all the time. Even though we feel tempted to do the wrong thing, we would just stop and think twice if it is right or wrong or how would it affect the world or that person. There is a lot I would say about Lent, but it's all represented in the words. Pursue God like never before, so we can celebrate Him like never before. Thank you.